John speaking. Am I speaking yes. to Professor Shexman? Yes, speaking. The Royal Swedish Academy of Sciences has decided to award the 2011 Nobel Prize in Chemistry to Professor Daniel Shechtman at Technion, Israeli Institute of Technology, Haifa, Israel, for the discovery of quasi-crystals. The Nobel Prize in Chemistry for this year was announced and it was bestowed on me. This was a wonderful, wonderful experience for me. I didn't even imagine how intensive the next two days uh, will be. It is such a rare event in the life of an academic institute. Most universities uh, do not experience it. And to have it twice in a span of seven years is simply beyond, uh, beyond words. It's incredible, simply incredible. I think it will give more exposure to material science and engineering in general. Of course, with the department and the Technion, it's fantastic. You know, we've been waiting for years for this to happen. It's wonderful for the country. In my father's case, it's uh, the, the, the stream and the fact that the truth wins eventually. It's been an honor to be here to congratulate Professor Schechtman and to visit the Technion, which is of course one of the academic institutions of great international repute and which is very well known in Sweden. What journey that you have made as, as a researcher this and a scientist already, and the, the I, I perseverance can... that clearly it, it, it required of you. A book that I have read when I was uh, very young, a book by Jules Verne, and the major character in that uh, book is an engineer. His name was Cyrus Smith, and he could do anything. He could do everything, and I wanted to be like him. Being an engineer was a, the dream of my life. When the time came and I was admitted to the Technion, I studied uh, mechanical engineering, and now I am a distinguished professor of the Technion. I think that we are all together seven distinguished professors, and three of us are Nobel laureates. The system here, encourages originality. We, we are free thinkers. This is the Israeli spirit. Free thinking encourages uh, successful scientists. I very much hope and wish the Technion to continue in this very uh, unique, very special way of producing um, wonderful scientists engineers, I don't think that I could have dreamt of a better present for the Jewish people and for the State of Israel uh, for the new year. Okay, here's why you should support the Technion. You should support the Technion because it produces Nobel Prize winners like Professor Shechman. It uh, produces uh, entrepreneurs and innovators that have changed Israel's economy and are changing the world. It produces the excellence that we need in uh, the sciences, in technology, in engineering, in all the fields that form the driving motor of Israel's uh, future. I would like to, to acknowledge the great support of uh, all the donors to the Technion who made the Technion what it is now. The contribution is so important for the building of the Technion, the making of the building itself, the equipment in it, scholarships, dormitories, all this is extremely important for the science in Israel and for the Technion in particular. This is a great, great uh, gift that you are giving us. And one of the results is, hey, we have three Nobel laureates here.